Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I am Eduardo Golfan and to this video I'm gonna show you on how to use the decount function in Microsoft Access. By the way, the decount function, this is the counterpart of count a function in Microsoft Excel. So to give you an idea guys, I will show you my sample. Let's go to my reports and then let us select this insurance details and then open. Okay, how are you guys? So we have a count for total members and also total dependents of our insurance. So total members, two, so one and two, and then total dependents, one, two, three. So how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet. Subscribe. <music> So this is the design view of our report and the record source is this one. This is important guys. So insurance cost and this is indicated in the, let's go to uh, property. Okay, this one, the insurance cost. So now let us start the coding guys. Click this and then go to event and then let us use this on load. So on load, click these three dots, code builder, click OK. So, uh, let us delete it, okay? So, this one, the name of this is member count. So, let us start with me that member count equals the count. So, open parenthesis and then the expression. So, we need a membership type okay this one the membership type will type membership type by the way we will put a bracket okay and then to proceed another parameter let's put comma and then domain a string this is the name of the source which is this one insurance cost so let's type insurance underscore cost make sure guys the spelling is correct this one okay no need to put a bracket for the domain and then comma to proceed another parameter which is the criteria so now let's put sorry the next is um, membership type this one also And then let's put equals, uh, space equals, single quote, double quote, and ampersand. And the next criteria is, uh, this is a string. So let's put double quote, and then let's put member. Okay. And let's put double quote, single quote, and don't forget to put in close parenthesis. Okay, this is it. And now let us try, guys. So, open. Here we go. So, two. Total members is two. One and two. So, now let us uh, add the uh, total dependence. Let's go back to the BBE code. And then we can just copy paste. And then we will um, check the name of this. The name of this is dependent count. So we will change this. Me that uh, I forgot dependent count. Okay, that dependent count. And then let's put here. Uh, by the way, it's okay. I will change the this one the criteria. I will put dependence with is okay so now let us check okay this is it so two and three the coding is simply this one just only one liner code so I think guys this is enough and if you have some questions uh, you know what to do you can just comment it below and I will try my best to answer that one and 
Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, you can also subscribe, guys. It's a pray and it, it's a big help for me. And if you like this video, please click like. That's all, guys. Thank you. And see you to my next video.